Hi there, my name is Liv Nelson, I'm 21 years old and I have bipolar disorder. When I was initially asked whether I'd like to take part in IBS Starry Night fundraiser, I didn't need to think twice. And despite being an English Lit major, I still can't really find the words to fully express what a beacon of light IBF is to those who are struggling with bipolarity and what an honor it was to be asked. So speaking personally and getting personal with my story, I was first exposed to the notion of what it was like to be bipolar at the age of 16. And I walked into my therapist's office and he, he looked at me with this face where I knew something was up. And um, yeah, and he looked me dead in my eyes and, and said, Liv, I'm so sorry and I don't want to scare you, but you've been showing signs of manic depression for some time now. You need to get them looked at. And I walked out of that session with two main convictions. One, that I was clinically insane, and two, that I was fundamentally broken. I was useless. I would amount to nothing, my life was meaningless, and I might as well just die. And from my personal experience, those are two very common misconceptions. Um, because unfortunately, things like social media, the news, television shows, films, fuel and feed this stigma that bipolarity is one bad, but two, that it is something you have to be ashamed of and you can never speak about. So, so many people, me included, go through this process in confused silence as you go to your psychiatrist, you pick up your medication, you deal with the side effects, you handle your mania behind closed doors. And it's one of the most painful things I think I've ever experienced. And I can't imagine that anyone else has enjoyed it much either. <laughs> so hope is my favorite word for that very reason. It was with this crucial support that I felt able to recover and to nurture the hope that yes, I may be different to other people. And yes, I may think differently to other people. And finally, yes, I may feel differently to other people, but that does not mean that there is something wrong with me. And it doesn't mean that I can't live a really full life. If you told that terrified girl who'd just gotten her diagnosis at the age of 16, that she would be speaking to you today as a, um, as a triple majoring student at Columbia University, she would have laughed probably manically in your face. But that's the difference between where I am now and where I was then. And how I got to where I am now, as I've already said, is through this crucial support. And this leads me on to how key the incredible community created by IBF is for people like me, because it's fortified by countless educational resources and unique programs. For example, as a millennial who spends a disappointing amount of time on her phone, it has been such a welcome break to see IBF's a social media campaign, Faces of Hope and Recovery, filling my Instagram feed. And this is because IBF recognizes that yes, there is a new the stigma out there that tarnishes bipolarity, but it responds back that we need to shut that down and address it with our success stories. And these success stories are essential because the National Institute of Mental Health reckons that there are over 5.7 million adult Americans out there who are, who are affected by bipolar. And even more shockingly, one in five people with bipolar end up committing suicide in their lifetime. And this is not something that we can afford to either be scared of and run away from or just simply ignore. This is something that needs to be embraced and spoken about. And this is why I wholeheartedly support IBF's inspiring mission. So, I want to thank you for not only listening to my pretty brief message, but also for taking the time to participate in this entire fundraiser. Your donations are saving lives. You are making a huge difference to the lives of so many people who live with bipolar and also people like me. And I am so eternally grateful for that and for IBF for providing this platform to change not only how we view bipolarity, but also how we treat and recover from it. So the final thing that I want to say is that if you or someone you know is really fighting to keep your head above water, that you're scared, you're frightened, you're angry, you are, you're feeling like you're insane, you feel like no one understands you and you feel like you have to go through this alone because of that, I want to tell you no, because IVF is here and IVF is a tool that you can use to navigate through some of the most confusing and terrifying times of your life because it is a community of people cheering you on from the sidelines and that includes
people like me. So thank you so much. Have an incredible rest of the night and I hope that one day I can meet everyone in person. So speak soon. Thank you so much.